Ah, November, the dark and cosy night, the crunch of leaves beneath your feet, every human being on the planet pretending they like things to be pumpkin spiced, and Survivor Series. Truly, no greater month. And with all of the above rolling terrifyingly into focus, WWE have wasted no time in trying to get us hyped for the last big four pay-per-view of the year, outlining almost the entire card for us on Monday Night Raw. I'm gonna measure my words here, guys. It's looking pretty f***ing spectacular and pretty f***ing messy. It's only been a few months since SummerSlam. Yep, Enzo Amore in the Shark Cage was only eight or nine weeks ago. Where has my f***ing life gone? But a cross-brand pay-per-view will always get a big rubbery one out of fans. And as such, WWE are going all in on it. It's gonna be SmackDown versus Raw, just like Mama used to make. Raw's tag team champions, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins, will take on SmackDown's tag team champions, The Usos. That'll be really good. And Raw's intercontinental champion, The Miz, will take on SmackDown's United States champion Baron Corbin and that's that's a bit odd see the main problem with what they've outlined already is that they've given themselves a lot of heel versus heel matches Corbin and Miz don't feel to me like they've got any natural chemistry going into this and they've only got four weeks to try and find some likewise the women's match is going to be Natalia versus Alexa Bliss and I mean I'm obviously going to be cheering for Alexa Bliss but what are the crowd going to do I'm not one to criticize WWE, I wouldn't want a cease and desist order for being this handsome, but it does sort of feel like they've just pulled a show concept out of their arse and haven't really thought about how it's actually gonna work. Maybe? We're getting Jinder versus Brock as well, and I mean, the crowd aren't gonna have any problem knowing who to cheer there, but if you have Jinder hang with Brock, then no one's gonna buy it, and if you have Lesnar squash him, then you bury the WWE championship. I honestly think I'm watching these shows just to see how they boot themselves out of problems these days. We're also getting two traditional five-on-five -five Survivor Series matches between the two brands. One for the lads, one for the lasses, but by and large this card is 50% quite interesting, 50% really odd. Very few of these matches feel like they've got an actual reason to take place beyond simply WWE wanted to do this concept. So. It's going to be interesting to see how they find a storyline for these in the next couple of weeks. Hey, who knows? We might even get Kurt versus Shane. It makes about as much sense as any thing else they've announced. Anyway, thank you for watching. Do subscribe to What Culture Wrestling for more updates like this every single day. And until next time, I have been Adam from WhatCulture.com, and I'm a way to figure out how the hell any of this is going to to work. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe below and if you're looking for more content like this then try a few things that are floating about around my ears. It might be fun. I can't promise it though. But it might be.